Welcome to Wario World! Beautiful! Hi, uh, this is Wario7793. Uh, I thought I'd showcase a couple of unusual 64 scale die cast of plastic uh, figures, uh, vehicles. These are special vehicles from different movies. The one that I'm showing here right now is from the 1997. Uh, it wasn't so much a smash hit, but it became kind of a cult hit called Armageddon. And it was very campy and silly and had the editing of an MTV music video from back in the day. Uh, it was a Michael Bay production, of course. <laughs> here at downtown NASA, we call this the Monster Armadillo. It's going to be retrofitted with your drilling arm. So we'll turn 800 turbo horses in near zero gravity. Anywho, um, but this is a vehicle that Mattel uh, Hot Wheels came out with. Uh, and I've looked online to find a little more information about these, and there are some different sizes and different types, including an RC and larger scale ones, and some different vehicles from the movie, like the shuttle and so forth. But this is the land vehicle, called, land vehicle called the Armadillo, that landed on the asteroid that was supposed to destroy the Earth, and they had uh, the uh, the crew that was sent up with it, which included Bruce Willis and a a few other famous names, that's kind of an all-star cast. They were uh, given um, so much time to put um, a, a nuclear explosive inside of it and drill it down into it. I guess it was really hard, it may have some really hard material. Um, the vehicle here has the, the main part of it, which is, it looks like a 12-wheeled type of off-road sort of a tank. A drilling vehicle but they've um, they've uh, outfitted it with some additional armament uh, you can see the, the drill on there if you uses my finger on this if you push on this it kind of makes the drill go down and you can spin it by hand there's a little tiny Vulcan minigun um, on the back side here which rotates around um, I don't know if that was used so much for defense but it might have been used to to blast away any any uh, rocks or formations that got in the way. It come with a neat little utility trailer and it come with an actual drilling site uh, foundation and two little figurines um, and the two of the guys in spacesuits. I believe this is also a representative of some lights but you can actually fold that down a bit. It's kind of neat too. Um, I actually found this online. I was kind of curious to see what they're currently going for. It's looking like between thirty and forty dollars, even used. And new ones are going for maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get this guy uh, show the cases on the rotating display I have to see if you can see it. But as you can see it's got some pretty nice. Uh, I mean, for being as little as they are, and the figures are four um, points of articulation. Each arm and each leg does move uh, independently up and down. The heads are sculpted in with the uh, the rest of the body, so that doesn't they don't move. I think they got pretty nice little details. They're the helmets are have the dark uh, visors over them, so you can't really see their faces at all. And you can put one of the one of the one of the figures inside the little uh, inside the cockpit there. It only fits one figure, so it's whoever pilots it. As far as far as anybody else going on there, I don't know. And I'm not exactly sure what they put on the trailer, but it might have been it might have been this thing. Maybe it's how they got it over there. But uh, give me a sec here. I'll see if I can and showcase it like in a 360 degree uh, panorama sort of view. See, you can have a little bit of fun with this toy. Um, I've got one of the figures standing up on top, like he's kind of looking out over it. He's standing next to the minigun, and the other one's sort of half sitting in the cockpit. Uh, the drill is set up and everything, and wow, this thing is really big. It's really neat. As far as the construction, it's primarily mostly plastic, except for the middle of the chassis is, uh, the, the underbelly of the chassis is die cast. Uh, the wheels all do roll. Um, uh, and it, it's, uh, yeah, it, it is very well detailed. There's even little, uh, if you look close enough, you can see the Goodyear sticker on one side. And it had, uh, this is the little trailer that came with it. Let's see if I can kind of show, show this a little bit here. It's also set up so that it, this little thing here kind of uh, toggles it up and down. 
So when you put it on her, it just sort of sets in place, and it's got a little strap or something on her. I never did fully figure out how these uh, how this all works, but I I gotta admit this thing is really cool. It makes it make a really good display piece uh, along with uh, and it's scaled to fit with with Hot Wheels and Matchbox uh, size cars. So one sixty four scale is what it's supposed to be set at. Um, really really cool looking. You can get a close view of this. Let's see if we get this thing spinning again here. This is what it looks like with it closed, and I took off the second figure. I got the drill setting so it's more of a vertical uh, position on this. Otherwise, it, well, if you get too vertical, it catches on this display uh, turntable and doesn't it, don't, it won't go all the way around. Um, pretty cool, I think. Pretty cool. Um, it's come out in 1997 to co-sign with the movie. Um, I'm trying to remember where I bought this or how much I paid for it. I'm guessing I must have got this for about twelve to fifteen dollars. It wasn't. I didn't think it was that much at the time, and I've had this ever since. I just put it in a baggie and and kept all the pieces together with it, including the little trailer and this little sight here, and then the, the little figurine that goes with it. You can picture him up close. Now I'll go ahead and display one more unusual vehicle, and it's from an earlier movie, and I think a lot, I think a lot more of my audience might recognize it. Well, what I have here is the Ertl uh, 1989 uh, Batwing from the the, the original uh, Tim Burton's Batman movie from the same year, from 1989. Um, it's again 64 scale. Um, this one is almost backwards from the uh, the Arm armadillo. Or the, the spinning again there is kind of heavy it weighs uh, about eight ounces what I figure what I've uh, weighted on my, uh, my kitchen scale so it's probably a little too heavy for the spinner for the turntable um, it must, seems to be mostly die cast except for the canopy up here the, the little uh, Batman figurine if you can see him there and the interior is all plastic and the wheels are plastic and maybe where they're attached is some kind of painted plastic. But otherwise, this is, the rest of this is all die-cast metal. So it's very, very heavy. And the wings on here, if you ever... I mean, they're not sharp enough to cut you. But you can imagine if you swung this around like a weapon, it would... Uh, you could mess somebody up with it. <laughs> um, you can see how big it is compared to my hand. It's, you know, it's, 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 it's almost like a weapon in its own right. But uh, this is a fun piece, though, and um, it's kind of more of a display piece. I mean, you can't really fly this because it's, it's going to fly like a brick. It just, it's too heavy, uh, it is even as aer aerodynamic as it was made back then. Uh, but the detailing is wonderful on this thing. It's got the, the front spikes on it, uh, the, the top fins, the back piece that sticks out. The iconic Batman, Batman shape, which matches the little logo that's on there. Uh, coming with a little Batman figurine, that's that's definitely a good plus. That way it doesn't, because I'm, I'm glad they didn't go cheap and just you know, black out the, the cockpit. Uh, the wheels underneath, they fold under, so it has basically three points of articulation. Each wheel will, will fold up. And let's see if I can get that here. Um, give me a sec here. This is how it sits on the ground. Uh, the wheels, I mean, mine's old enough now, being this is 2020, and this came out in 1989. Um, it says Ertl on it. It's got the big logo on the side here, and uh, made in China, of course. It looks like it's got some screws that hold it down, so it's very well constructed. The wheels are a little loose, but not too bad. To be honest, I'm not really sure what this guy's worth, and I'm not super worried about it. I do love the, the, the whole uh, bat it's got the Batman look to it, just all around. I mean, it just screams Batman when you when you hold it up. I mean, it's just 
it's it's heavy. <laughs> it's a very nice piece. Yeah, it probably weighs more than my the, the camera that I'm using to pho photograph this with, videotape this with. Um, I could probably look up the price. Um, now the current value of this, I'm guessing I probably pay. Um, yeah, this probably come out to about eight to ten dollars. I think when I got it in 1989. Uh, its current value, I, I'll probably have to look it up just if anybody's curious. I don't know how many of these are being sold anymore. I don't even know how many of these were made. But uh, you can see kind of some of the nice detail work on that. You set the fold the wings out on this. Nice thing about this, the rear wings are tied together. So it might be one piece of articulation there instead of two. They come out at the same time. The front wheel on this one's a little wobbly and a little loose, so it will sit. But it's not the best in the world. You can get a view of that underneath there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Pretty impressive vehicle, even for 1989. Okay. It's still an impressive piece even now. Um, well, this is Wario7793. I did want to thank you very much for checking these uh, unique and interesting movie vehicles out. More like deluxe vehicles. Uh, this one's from Ertl, and the Armadillo was, uh, was Hot Wheels, uh, Mattel's Hot Wheels. Uh, again, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you later.